And as I was saying, Patricia Routledge, is, she modelled herself on me, you know. Oh, did she really? I'm sure. She really did, yes. I'm sure. Yeah, she does a good lady. Uh, hello again, uh, everyone. Oh. And uh, welcome to the next online rehearsal. Oh, uh, glorious production of The Importance of Being Earnest by um, um, Oscar Wilde. Uh, Oscar Wilde. <laughs> and it's nice to see both Philomena and David with us on the team again. You were both sorely missed at our last rehearsal thank you peter i'm sure we weren't oh you were both of you yes it's so nice to be back with you all again at this zoob meeting uh, just before we begin though one or two announcements to make uh, another slight change to the casting oh Yes, I know, I know, I know. I, I, it's all been up and down over the last couple of rehearsals. I know that, but but this is the final cast change. I, I promise, okay. the definitive cast, okay. if you like, <laughs> the one set in stone, as you might right. say. <laughs> well, I hope you've changed me. I hate bloody Algernon. Well, I had a, a long, long chat yesterday with George, uh, our chairman. We know who George is, Peter. Yes. Yes, of course, because, well, I felt something wasn't quite right. Something wasn't quite gelling. So we, uh, we put our heads together and both had a, a, a really good think. Well, it was really very helpful. So eager to, to take on board my suggestions. <laughs> we are still doing the same play, are we, Peter? Uh, sorry, Ruth, what was that? I said, we are all still doing the same play, the importance of being earnest. You, you haven't changed it to something else? No, no, Ruth. Fear not on that score. We're still doing the importance of being earnest. I'm just going to juggle around the casting just a, just a little bit again, that's all, just to, just to get things completely right. Remember how I told you last time? Not to learn those lines yet. <laughs> I had already started learning them. Well, I, I said don't learn any more. I, I hope nobody has. So, without further ado, the new casting for the importance of being earnest. The definitive version. The ultimate version. Would we just hear it, Peter? Well, yes, yes, of course. Uh, uh, should I be timing this? What? Oh, uh, oh. oh uh, yes, Ernie, if you like. Ernie, uh, I've mislaid my stopwatch. <laughs> okay. So it might be a little bit tricky, you see. Yeah, well, well, don't worry, Ernie. I mean, I'm sure we can go. I could try with my watch. It, it's got a chronometer on it, you see. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it works. I've not had it long. It's a birthday present, you see. And uh, having the stopwatch, I've not had time to put it to use. But I'm sure... Peter! Yes, Peter. Could we hear the new casting, do you think? We're all dying to know who we're playing. And anything else you might need to add. Yes. Right. Uh... Only look, we'll uh, we'll leave the timing for this one, I think. <laughs> huh? Huh? Well, if you're sure, Peter, you'll be fine, Ernie. Uh, but how will we know when the time has run out? Um, the screen will go off, Ernie. That should give us a bit of a clue. Okay then. So uh, that's all settled then. So, the uh, revised and final cast list, in no particular order. Jack stays as John. Uh, that's Jack as well, of course, the, the character in, in, in the script, I mean. Jack and John being the same character, and, and <coughs> both to be played by Jack. Uh, Al, John. Um, uh, we, we can't go on yet. Sabrina's not here. Sabrina? Yeah, we'd better wait for her, hadn't we? Sabrina, yes, I, uh, well, I, I should have mentioned it before. 
Well, I just slipped my mind. I'm, uh, I'm afraid Sabrina has had to step down from the play. Oh, dear. Is she ill? No. She hasn't got the, the, you know what, has she? What, the clap? <laughs> the virus. No, 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 nothing like that. Thank God. <laughs> then what is it, Peter? Well, she, um, she just found she couldn't do the play after all. That's all. Nothing sinister, just personal stuff, I think. <laughs> oh, <You know? laughs> sounds a bit juicy. Ooh. <laughs> but she was our Lady Bracknell. What are we going to do now? Oh, it's all sorted, Ernie, fear not. Philomena has very kindly agreed to take over the part of Lady Bracknell. Oh, Peter, this is a surprise. Oh, I really do hope that I could do the part justice. I really do. And we just decided. Well, during my long <laughs> and very useful discussion with George, Dave, <laughs> well, I, I, I told him that saddened as I was uh, to, to lose Sabrina, I, I thought that uh, Philomena would would be um, excellent in the part. Well, uh, George agreed, of course. Oh, I'm sure he did. I expect you had to twist his arm, didn't you, Peter? Well, I, I wouldn't say that. Oh, I'm sure you wouldn't. Can we hear the rest of the cast now, then? Yes, yes, with pleasure. Uh, now, let's see, uh, we've, uh, we've done. Jack as Jack John and, and Philomena as Lady Bracknell, of course. Of course. So that leaves um, John now as Algernon. Oh, holy bloody Louia! Uh, Dave to play the canon. David to play the canon, that is. Oh, one of the big guns now, David. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, another derringer of a part there, David. Idiots. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, David as the cannon. Oh, <laughs> I see. Big guns. Yes. Uh, well, and Ernie stays as Lane, the man. Yeah. Another Derringer. Uh, Lucy stays as Cecily. Uh, Ruth will now play Miss Prism. Dave? Yes. No, no, no. Uh, other Dave. Uh, other Dave. Uh, you'll be playing Merriman, the butler. Dave? Me? Uh, sorry. I was just reading this news item about... I said, the... oh. you'll be playing Merriman. Who? The butler. Merriman. He's the one with the yokel accent. Wow. No, <laughs> he, uh, he hasn't got a yokel accent, Dave. Is that all right with you, playing Merriman? I thought I was firing the cannon. Well, you can do that as well. Oh, oh, well, very good. <laughs> yes, thank you. I was just reading this news item, though. Look, can we get on, please? <laughs> yes, of course. Actually, Peter, I've just been working it out. Now that Sabrina's gone, we're short of a lady to play Gwendolyn, aren't we? Yes, Lucy, I know, but there is a way around it. A bit avant-garde, perhaps, but I'm, I'm sure it'll work. And George th thought so too. Some lateral thinking, and quite modern. Just what we need at the Pilchard Players. Oh, yes. Dave? Yes? No, no, uh, other Dave. Mm. How would you feel about playing... Um, well, a lady. Gwendolyn, in fact. Oh, yes! What? <laughs> well, I, I, I know you have a bit of a thing for uh, uh, dressing up, so I, I thought... Oh, I'll do it! I'll do it! Oh, yes, I'll do it! <laughs> Are you serious, Peter? Oh, yes, he is, aren't you, Peter? Well, I, I, I think that... This is preposterous! You're turning the play into a Whitehall farce! You can't put cross-dressers into Oscar Wilde! 
I bet that Oscar himself was a bit of a cross-dresser. Actually, <gasps> David. Oh, a lie. I cook and everything. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> I think it'll work, David. Oh, I'll make it work. You won't know the difference. Uh, which dressing room will he be in? <laughs> well, well, look, we can work out the finer details later on. Meanwhile, that's the casting. And I think we're just about... And you say George agreed to this, men dressing as women? Well, it's all the rage now, David. Even Doctor Who's doing it. Isn't that right, David? Um, Dolly, Dave, I mean. What? Oh, yes, yes. It does it very convincingly. You really think it's a woman. <laughs> uh, Peter, this new... Oh, sign. put that phone away. We're in a re rehearsal, for God's sake. And Peter, are you telling me in earnest that George actually agreed to this twisted piece of casting? And you'll remember the importance of not being earnest, Peter. Yes. Um, yes, he, he, he went along with it. Sort of. It's a preposterous idea. Never heard anything like it. I shall be having a word with George myself. Mm. What did George actually say, Peter? We're all dying to know. Well, he said, uh, he said, but what he actually said, Philomena, was that he felt that the production was going a little, uh, well, just a little, little mine, uh, off course, and uh, I should do whatever it takes <coughs> to, to get it back on, on course as soon as possible. Or words to that effect. Hmm. Did he say anything about casting at all? Uh, no, not really. Or pre-casting? Are you sure, Peter, dear? Pre-casting? Good grief, no! Pre-casting? Oh, perish the thought. No, no! Well, he may have made one or two suggestions. Mm -hmm. Very useful suggestions, I might add. But by and large, all in all, he said I should just have a bit of a serious think about the way the play had been cast and, and then, then, well, think it through again and, and, and pretty well cast it how I liked, which is what I've done. So, I hope everyone is happy with it now. Oh, I'm happy. I'm deliriously happy. And George said you could cast a man in a woman's role in a classic play by Oscar Wilde. Well, yes, <laughs> in so many words. Pull your finger out, he said. Well, uh, no, not, not, not those words, obviously, but <laughs> more like use your initiative, was what he actually said, in a manner of speaking. Well, I think Dave will do it really well, David, and you should give him a chance before you can... <laughs> You're wasting an awful lot of time, Peter. We really should get on with the rehearsal. Absolutely. I don't think we've got much time left. We haven't even started. Absolutely right, Ruth. Oh. So, shall we just crack on as we are for now, starting at... Ah! Oh. Ernie, are you all right? Have you hurt yourself? No, no, uh, I've got the chronometer working on my watch. Oh, for God's sake. Ten minutes left, Peter. Right, right, thanks, Ernie. Look, why don't we just jump to the bit with Gwendolyn so we can just see how well Dave can do it? What? Not start at the beginning, you mean? I think that's a very good idea. Um. Cracking idea, mate. Well, it's, it's a little recherche. Not as recherche as a man <laughs> playing a woman. But yes, why not? Let's think outside the box for a moment, eh? <laughs> right, um, let's see. Page, yes, page 58. The scene where Cecily and Gwendolyn meet for the first time. Shall we? Uh, shall we try that? Merriman is just going out, and uh, Gwendolyn is just coming in. So, got it? 
Ready? Off we go. Um, <coughs> shall we start? It's Merriman first, at the top of the page. Oh, yes, Derek. Derek, w w would you read Merriman, please? Me? Who? Where? At the top of page 58. Merriman's line, he's, uh, he's just exiting. Oh, uh, sorry, where did you say? Oh, for God's sake, it's just one line, Peter. Forget it and let's get on. Six minutes left. Thanks, Andy. Dave, have you found it? Not yet. What page did you say? 58. For heaven's sake, Miss Fairfax, there, it said, can we get on? It's Dave's line, David, and Dave ought to say it. Yes, come on, be fair, David. Have you found the page, David? 58? Well, yes, yes, I found it, but... Uh, well, give, give us the line, then. No, but... Uh, Just say the bloody line, man! Uh, yes. Uh, <coughs> Miss Fairfax. Thank God for that. Oh, yeah, well, Peter, Peter, uh, I think I should say that... Yeah, yeah, perhaps a bit later, Dave. Eh? Look, we're, we're, we're running short of time. Uh, OK, Lucy, um, Merriman has spoken. Off you go. Great. Let me introduce myself to you. My name is Cecily Carfax. Cecily Cardew? What a very sweet name. Something tells me that we are going to be great friends. I like you already more than I can say. My first impressions of people are never wrong. How nice of you to like me so much after we have known each other such a comparatively short time. Pray sit down. I may call you Cecily, may I not? With pleasure. All right so far? Great, Dave, great, carry on. And you will always call me Gwendolyn, won't you? Oh, if you wish. <laughs> then that is all quite settled, is it not? Oh, I hope so. Perhaps this might be a favourable opportunity for mentioning who I am. My father is Lord Bracknell. You've heard of Papa, I suppose. Oh, I, I don't think so. Outside the family circle, Oh, for God's sake, is that you messing with your phone? No, 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 no. I've been looking at the news update and... Uh, the... <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> folks, it's mine. <laughs> oh, it's George. I, uh, I better take this a moment. Mm -hmm. George. Hello. <laughs> Look, George, we're, we're, we're right in the middle of a... Uh... What? What? Yes, George. Yes, I see. <laughs> wow. Yes. Yes, well, yes, it does change things just a bit. Okay, yes, we'll uh, we'll talk tomorrow, eh? Yes. Yes, I'll tell them. I'll, I'll tell them now. Yes, George. Yes. Yeah, look, thanks for letting me know. Yes. Bye, George. Bye. Peter, what's the matter? Are you all right? That was George. Yes, we know. You said so. He said... Was it about the casting, Peter, dear? No, no, it's, um... Come on, we're all in suspense here, Peter. Yes, mate. Don't leave us dangling. So to speak. <laughs> he said the, um... What? Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Peter, but I, I think you should know this. Oh. The lockdown is over. Yes. <laughs> That's what George has just told me. 
this is what I've been trying to tell you for a quarter of an hour. You're joking. It was on the breaking news on my phone. It's over. <laughs> We're all free to come and go as we please. No. Oh. Kiss and hug each other again. Oh. What a pity that That's Sabrina's gone away, eh, Peter? <laughs> oh. Where does that leave us? Leave the play. Sorry, Ruth, uh, I didn't quite catch that. Uh, you can take your mask off, Ruth. It's all over. No, Peter, I had a concern for myself, John. Thank you. Oh, suit yourself. I said, <laughs> what are we going to do as far as the play is concerned? Uh, are we carrying on? Not, not tonight. I mean, there's only two minutes to go. Oh. Well, yes. Yes, the play will carry on. Well, not like this, obviously, since we can all meet up again. I think there'll be a couple of changes, though. You're not going to be recasting it, though, are you? No, no, fear not. You're safe with your roles as we've discussed them this evening. It's just that, um, well, George had some other news for me. Well? It's Brian. He's better. Oh. He's back. Our original director? Yes. Oh! We took over, you remember, at very short notice. <laughs> Hence the occasional moments of, uh, the, of confusion that they've been here and there, for which I can only apologise. Mm -hmm. Seems Brian didn't have the virus after all. Just a bit of a head cold. And he jumped to the wrong conclusion. Oh. <laughs> yes, typical. <laughs> So he'll be taking, taking over again from next week. He'll be your director after all. The importance of being earnest is back in safe hands. Oh, but you were good, Peter. I hope you'll still let me fire the cannon. Well, that's up to Brian, I'm afraid, Dave. One minute left, Peter. Right. Well, we'd, uh, we'd better all sign off then. Thanks to all of you for putting up with me. <laughs> oh, and the best of luck with the play. Won't you be joining us, Peter? Well, probably best not, eh? I'll leave it to Brian, I think. I've heard and I've had enough of being earnest for the time being. <laughs> oh, good night, everyone. Bye, yeah. goodbye. See you all later. Zoom away. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, everyone. Sabrina? Well, hello. Look, look, I, I, I'm really sorry about the, uh, about the Lady Bracknell thing and all that. But in the end, uh, what? Oh, yes, I, I, I know. I, I know the lockdown's over. I, I just heard. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? Great. What's that? Tomorrow? Well, um... I mean, yes, that, 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 that will be lovely, but yes, I, I, I know what you promised, Sabrina, but I, well, I haven't really done anything to deserve it, have I? I mean, the, the Lady Bracknell thing was a, was a farce. <laughs> no, Sabrina, look, I, I, I'm not, I'm not trying to get out of anything. You know, Tomorrow evening will be great. Yes. I'll call you tomorrow morning, eh? And we'll uh, we'll work something out. Yeah. Can't wait. Good night, Sabrina. <laughs> yes.